Research has shown that promoting contact between the public and scientists helps improve trust both in science and scientists. And that's why it's important that opportunities are created for the public to meet scientists, and not just meet them, but to discuss things with them, to talk about their research, to talk about the implications of their research. And that's what Agora has been doing since 2011. It's funded 124 projects. There are a vast variety of ways of making this connection between scientists and the public. And this is an opportunity of which I'm very proud to show you three examples of the projects that we have funded. The first project is Cold Ice. It was devised by Leandra Reichmeyer Neif. And it brings together global warming and its impact on glaciers with finding things which arise when glaciers and ice patches melt in the high Alps. So it's a way of training the public to be scientists and to help scientists conserve things that are found under glaciers, but also understand what's happening up there in the high Alps in terms of global warming. The second project is called Robotics in Schools, and it was devised by Francesco Mondada. And it's quite simple. It takes real robotics research projects. It creates educational materials that explain those projects and games that kids can play in class. And then, at the end of all that, it makes it possible for kids to meet the researchers, the real researchers who are running the projects and discuss what they're doing. The third project is Numbed by Numbers, devised by Antonietta Mira. Antonietta wants to communicate her passion and pleasure at working with numbers. And to do it, she has created an interactive exhibition which draws children and adults into playing with numbers. Let me end by saying that scientific research is a voyage of discovery. It's a journey, but it's a journey with a difference. It's a journey into all our futures. And that's why it's important that people that are planning that journey share their plan with the public. So the public are consulted and own that plan, the plan for their future. That's Agora's job. And we would love you to help us do that job.